how to turn pallets into an outdoor daybed. Hey guys, Youth Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be turning wood pallets into a daybed. And I'm making it in such a way that it can be kept outside. Now, the easiest way to get pallets for free is to go to either Home Depot or Lowe's and go to the back to find whoever it is that's in charge and ask nicely because there's some that they just throw away. Now, this is how I wanted it to be. And then I decided to have arms on two sides. But then I figured I made a lot of chairs like this in the past, so I took off the arms and decided to just do a daybed instead of a chair. When we went to get these pallets, it was under the hot sun and I did a lot of sweating. Whew, that was a lot of workout for me that day. But basically just the stacking up of the pallets and having another one at the back would give you what you want for either a chair or a daybed. This is really heavy, so I figured that the easiest way to move this around when I'm done is to add wheels at the bottom. The wheels were added to the pallet that's going to be at the bottom, and now you can see that it freely moves around. Now I'm going to be adding the remaining pallets at the top, and they will be attached together with a heavy duty adhesive and outdoor screws. Some pallets are heavier than others, and unfortunately for me, I got the heavy ones. So all I'm going to do now is attach the pallets that I have arranged with heavy-duty corner braces. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I'll be carving the sides with plastic sheets, but before that, I'm gonna be covering the front of the chair with outdoor cushions. These outdoor cushions can withstand sun and rain, so they're perfect for the project. Now that I've covered up this part, I'm going to go ahead and cover the upper part. I got just five, so I wasn't sure how to place the remaining two, but then I figured if I can just have both of them, one this way and then the other one on the other side, where they split somewhere in the middle, it can look okay. So now I'm going to have plastic over at the top because the outdoor cushion that I'm using is not covering the whole back, so I need the back to look neat with plastic because plastic too can be used outside. And now the back can be covered and then you can leave your chair like this and have it outside. But then how about a little bit of shade using a privacy screen? I got this from Lowe's and I'm so glad that I found it because it will be perfect for my project. I'm going to trace out the shape that I want to be at the front. I wanted a big circle, but because of the size of the screen that I got, and I didn't want this to be too high anyway, so I'm just going to draw out something close to an egg shape. I carved out the shape with the jigsaw on two privacy screens. One will be for the back and one will be for the front. The screens will be supported with a PVC board that is perfect for the outdoors. This board is rot-free. It has a wood-like feel. 
it is peel resistant and moisture resistant. And as you can see here in the picture, it's also used mostly for the exterior parts of the home. So far so good, this is what I have. I'm gonna be adding the one that I cut for the front and the back together with a PVC board. And I'm also gonna be covering the sides and the top with extra privacy screens. You should know that these thick PVC boards are really pricey, so I'm gonna recommend using outdoor wood and painting it white. I used zip ties for the front part that did not have the PVC board to hold the screens together. This open part here that's rough will be covered with a thin and flexible PVC strip. And I'll be attaching it with zip ties. I got just one of these flexible strips thinking it was gonna go around, but unfortunately it was not enough. The bottom part is still open, but it's not too noticeable because of the white board that I have at the bottom, but I can still see it. So I probably would have to get another one to cover the bottom part. You can have tables attached on the inside if you like. This looks really pretty when I was done. And like I said, it's a day bed. You can lie down inside this, but if you want to stand upright and move around inside, you need to add the height of the PVC screen. Now, if the shade is not enough, you can also get an outdoor fabric and cover it at the top and by the sides. I had the back open thinking I was gonna make some sort of design with the back being visible, but then I see that the back being open didn't make sense. So I closed it <laughs> with plastic. This is such a beautiful piece that can be added to the outdoor furniture and I love the way it turned out. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Now don't forget to like it and share with your friends and families as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button. If we hold ourselves together